Hello, I'm Brendan Mitchell and welcome to this episode of the Caps Conversation series. On this episode, we have Abdulaziz Mungrio. Abdulaziz is an IT support and help desk expert currently working in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Welcome, Abdulaziz. Thank you. I much appreciate to invite me here today. Oh, I'm very honoured to, to have, have you, as I, as I know how well thought of you are by everybody yes. uh, in the organisation you work for, and your IT is, expertise and customer service is fantastic. Yes, it's their kindness. Uh, it's their kindness. You are originally I'm, from uh, Pakistan, yes? Yes, I am from Pakistan and uh, belongs to a region called Sindh. Sindh is uh, divided uh, between the Hind and the Pakistan, the India and the Pakistan. Half is there, half is we actually the nation. It was a separate nation before Pakistan, like Sindh and Hind. We called in Arabic al ah. and in Hind was Sindh. The uh, this is divided between the river of the Sindh. Half nation is other side. These called are Hind, the Hindus. The, 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 the this side is called Sindh. So. After the generation of the Pakistan, we are merged in the Pakistan. So this is the nation uh, where I belong to is called Sin. And uh, Karachi is the major city there right now. And how far is it from uh, Karachi? I am about uh, 450 in a village area, in a remote area. It was a remote area. Right now it's built uh, currently. But as I remember, uh, when I was a young, I see the light came in our uh, city in our village first time yani the happiness you cannot imagine yani when you see first time the light, the light. something is shining yeah. yani after the you see the sun or you see the moon and you see something is lightening you it was like fantastic yani the second thing the gas which you used to fire you used to cook something it is also came when i was uh, so young at that time. Were you in primary school then or? No, yes, I was in primary school at that time, but I was uh, much uh, younger to remember all these things, you know. I was used to have a donkey cart, we were having a small shop. Oh, I have a big family actually. My grandfather was, uh, was a high school uh, teacher and uh, so he had uh, seven sons and six daughters all having the sons and daughters right now, all are their grandfathers right now and grandmothers. So my cousins and my family is like huge in my village. Actually, we can say we have our own village. Belongs to my grandfather. Look like that. And so, you know everybody's name? No, I cannot remember. We have more than I have more than fifty-five or sixty cousins, and not and not remember most of them. Okay. You know, and they have also sons. They have also uh, uh, the the next generation. They also have a next generation like me. So I cannot even then remember the name of my cousins and my relatives, most of them. How can I remember their families, you know? Oh. So it's like a huge. When we have a marriage, like my marriage, my parents, my uh, other people, they force me, don't call uh, your friends. Because we don't have enough, enough yani, arrangement to uh, yani, call your friends yes. or other friends or his friends or my cousins. Because we have family members like too much. So we are enough for to attend the marriage of each other, you know. This is like that. It's it's, it's a fantastic life. Now you have excellent there. English. Did you study English at school or where did you uh, well, learn, I, learn English? Uh, I mix up some Arabic words in, uh, in the, during the discussion because it's, 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 it's the impact in the kingdom happened to my, uh, myself. Actually the English is belongs to, yani in, in our area, English is not common. No one is speak any. No one. Even someone has a completed the education uh, university level, he is not familiar to speak English. The English was something uh, you do by yourself. We make a group discussion with the friends on our uh, okay. drawing rooms. We sit outside having outing. Then we just uh, do group discussion to uh, remove the hesitation to learn and uh, speak the English. Was this in high school or university? Or university teach you the English, uh, high school teach you the English, but the hesitation which you have, yani, yes. you cannot uh, speak. You cannot uh, speak because you are not familiar. You can write very well. You can read very well. You are good enough to read and write. But when it's come to the communicate, you cannot explain your thoughts, your things, because you are not familiar. Yeah. Even I was familiar to write the Arabic before I came here. 
Okay. I was very familiar. I know how to write the Arabic. And if you give me any letter, I can write. Uh, how many languages do you speak these days? Uh, now I can speak. Uh, now I can understand and I speak like six languages. Yeah. And the nine languages I can understand very well. Oh. I can tell you it's, it's English, Arabic, Farsi, a little bit, uh, Urdu, uh, yeah. very much it's my own language, yeah, country language. So. <laughs> Sindhi, it's my mother tongue. Yes. Then the then it's a language called Balochi. Balochi in Qatar and other countries they speak. And there is a language also called um, there are almost nine languages in our local languages and some are belongs to the like Arabic from Middle East. English from like uh, European countries. That's why. So this happened. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, did your work life begin as a computer teacher? How you know this? Uh, when I read the first time this question, I heard uh, from you. And I cannot imagine how you know that it is like that. It, it, it is true. In 2000, when I complete my high school, yes. like 10th uh, grade, I was willing to go in the college, but I take two year gap, I not uh, join the college. And b during these two years, I was having a craze to learn the computer. So I went to some private schools to learn the computer education. We were using Windows 95, very old and warrior system. So after learning a similar course, I get one similar offer from my school. They were having a new computer lab. They need a teacher because no one knows the computer in my area. Ah. You know, so I joined the school and I become a teacher for more than maybe two years. And I completed my high school only 10th grade and I was teaching a computer to 10th grade. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they were many times the student, they come to see and see who is this teacher. This is like yeah. our student. Yep. Because I just passed my 10th grade, I'm teaching to the 10th grade. So that's why they not believe this is a teacher. They are thinking this is our own student. Sometimes the teachers, senior teachers in the school, they shouted at me. From where you came, go in your class. I said, I am a teacher here, my friend. Why are you are asking like this? So sometimes this happened. Actually, I was a teacher in the starting. Yes, and then in, after in, that. In 2000. Yes, in the yeah. year 2000. Yes, you went to university and graduated with IT and then worked a little bit in Pakistan. And then you headed to the great kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, Where did you end up in Saudi Arabia? Uh, first time I arrived uh, to in 2008, end of the 2008, after Which completing city? my education in uh, in Pakistan from university. Actually, I, I, I reached to the Hail to on. work in, in some Tamil uh, company there. And how many years did you stay there? Wallahi, it was a fantastic. Hail is like uh, full of craze and full of fun and f life is, real life is there. Real people are there, I can say. Yeah. How's the winter? W winter was very cold. I, 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 I experienced minus six. My nose and ears become hard, very hard snowing? in the morning. Not snowing, but it become like uh, you cannot feel you have a nose or you have a ears. <laughs> it's like that sometimes in, in winter. And uh, when you open the shower, uh, the water was not coming. Sometimes the ice. The, uh, the ice appear in the in, in the water, you know, without water. Sometimes it says stop because there is ice in the pipes. But you enjoyed the work. Yes, there. yes, sir, too much. I actually enjoy the work. I enjoy the people there. I enjoy yes. the culture. I the real Arab. If you want to see, don't go in the big cities. Go in the villages. Go and uh, go in the area where you find the people are very uh, close to the ground and yani very mm -hmm. close to the earth. They are called Badoons. They are uh, they are Badoons, but Badu means not they are not educated. They are not uh, well mannered. They are not well organized. Badoon means who who is a straight guy. Yes. With a straight forward. He is. Uh, not educated, but he is educated from the birth of her, her, his mother. Means he knows the everything. He knows the values. He knows the culture. He knows how to behave. If you are guest to these people, they will not leave you without dinner or without lunch. If you leave without dinner or lunch, they become angry with you. Yes. And this is like that. Yeah, very kind yeah. people. Very kind. I never see any fridge, a big size fridge outside of home here in Riyadh. Someone keep the outside of on his door a big fridge full with the cakes, full with the cold drinks, full with the water and everything and he can come and take something and can go, no problem. But in Hail you can find 
almost yani 30% 20% people the rich people the good people having the fridges outside of their door so if any traveler he is coming or going he feel thirsty he feel he can have a, this uh, like a shop can take anything right. this is like uh, called in arabic karam yani this happen for these people why you know there is a history behind this because the hatim tai uh, uh, indian guy this was an indian guy before 1000 year 1000 year before more than 1000 1400 and more he he came to hail to support uh, these people to stay there. Hatem Tai is very famous. You can find uh, the uh, movie uh, for, uh, for with his name, the Meccan movie. He was too much kind, too much rich and too much kind. Right. So the, the this guy, he just support to the traveler who were traveling due, uh, between this area. He, this, he was supporting them. He was giving them food. So uh, the people said this nation, the people in the Ha'il, are belongs to the Hatim Tai. Tai means someone who, who, who can give you anything from him side, yani, without, without any benefit from your side. Just no problem for me, like that. So these people having this in the billet. That's this is in their billet, really. Yes. If you stop, you, you have a broken car on the highway there in Ha'il, I can swear the first car came, they will stop for you to support you. Mm. But in uh, in a big city, you cannot find like this, you know. Oh, I don't know. I find all there the is a lot here, of uh, very very yes. kind here, very kind all over the great kingdom. Yes. But uh, after after how I, I understand you went to Tabuk. Yes, I after after the hail in seven years, I went to work in a, in Tabuk in a government uh, place. You enjoyed the book? Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's also a very nice place. The people are uh, good, yani. and uh, the weather, it's a tourist place. People can visit many places. Cooler like, with a little bit of rain? Oh, well, there is a one place is called, um, uh, in, in, in a Tabuk area, I don't remember the name, ha Jablilos. Jablilos in Arabic, it's called Jablilos. We also call in Arabic, uh, it's like Mount uh, Mount Sina. Mount Sina is in in the Mesir, but actually, it's in uh, it's in Arabia. We call the Mount Sina of Arabia like this. It's a very cold area. People are going to do the campaign to stay there. Yeah. Sometimes there is a snow in winter uh, timing, and also in uh, in this area summertime, the people also travel there when they have a vacation. You can find good places. Uh, Sea is also there, very nice Red Sea. So I good seafood. Yes, yeah, seafood also very good, excellent. I suggest if anyone came in Saudi, uh, he must visit the Hail, then Tabuk. These two places are amazing, and yes, I spent the years there. Years there, but let's come back to. You've just told us that there's some beautiful places in Saudi Arabia, but I also know there's some very beautiful places in Pakistan, yes. aren't there? Yes, definitely. Uh, not a lot of people realize that uh, yeah, Pakistan has some uh, beautiful scenery, yes? Yes. See, uh, Pakistan, someone said, in a long, a long ago as I told you, if you want to see a country, how rich is this country is, you see four or five things. Either this country has mountains, yes, we have mountains sure. in Pakistan. Either this country has rivers, yes, we have five, six rivers. Either this country has a desert, yes, we have two desert. Either this country has a sea, yes, we have sea. So, if you want to see the rich country in the, in the world, you have to be careful, count these things. Mountains, river, desert and the greenery and uh, the sea so pakistan alhamdulillah this these all um, main things yani we have there are only few countries in this world having these all things yes. at the same place uh, the remote area of the pakistan in the mountain area peshawar and other side hunza peshawar uh, that's where your prime uh, minister comes from yes yes also the 1992 world cup cricket captain yes yes he is like there if you want to see the Pakistan there is, I, I can show you uh, some uh, uh, some uh, vlogs made by some people I will share with you. So you can uh, elaborate more about the Pakistan, you will know how many Kashmir is there, many things. Yani, it's like uh, 
it's like uh, something to explore yani still to something to explore because we don't have a too much tourists there more people are because of some crisis the war uh, in near country you know this all but the people are very friendly in pakistan very much very much very much especially in my region yani we have we not build the home only if you build your home only for you to i will live here this is my home no people will not accept this you know why what we do you make a home and you should have a, some uh, separate space for your uh, friends for the visitors you should make some separate room which is uh, you call like a drawing room but we make it separate outside of home like here we call in arabic istiraha Yes. You you must be. If you are men, you must have this. If you not have this, means you don't want the visitors. You don't <laughs> want the visitors <laughs> to you. You don't want your friends to come to you. You are not making this. Means you don't need friends. You don't need visitors. Means you are not a good human. We feel like that. Right. So we make with our home. We make, make separate area for this. This is the culture and the people all about like. Now, how long have you been in Riyadh for after Tabuk? Well, I, am, I came. The, this is the second time I came to Riaz. Before in 2016, I was in Riaz for uh, more than one years. But now, how long? Year and a half. This please. is now almost two years. I am in Riaz. Riaz is a very hot city. People are uh, like you can say, everyone is busy. When the people are busy, they are uh, uh, much more, yani, yani conscious about the things, you know. Uh, if you travel in Riyadh on the roads, on the roadside like this, we can see it in the back, people, they don't uh, care any. Not the uh, same like the people in the villages, you know. It's the same, Every, everywhere. Yes, every everywhere. In a big cities, people city. are busy and, uh, and having attention and of time. the work and time, like this. No one has a time for anyone. Like but we are sitting together. If you go in Hyle, you have much more time. People <laughs> say, go sit with me for 10 hours, maybe you speak. No problem. But a very but friendly then, city, Riyadh, very... Well, uh, not much more. I, 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 I know you I like the country, I, I like the country. You come from city, the country. I, I like the country. I like this uh, kingdom. I like the people here, the, especially the Arab. But everywhere, if you go, in, even in the New Zealand, if you go the countryside, you find friendly people, they have sure. free time, they need you to say, to speak. Like If you go in a big city, you so you go to, to see your friend after two years he say hi how are you how you came okay thank you yeah, bye yeah. only this 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 is he will not ask you to come sit we have a long discussion we need to speak like this this happened in a big city this is all about the people are busy that's why sure and time you to know, travel time but i know the people in Riyadh, particularly the people that you work with greatly appreciate yes, you yes. you're, you're, a, you're really friendly and knowledgeable and you're an expert in your field um, and i'm really honored to have, to meet you and know you and have you on the video today thank you but is there anything that you would like to final comments for our viewers for uh, our company as we are working here together from last one and a half year the people i work anywhere i i i i i, I not only work any I have a good uh, relation, I have a friendly environment. To create a friendly environment, wherever you work, you must be happy and you must try to keep happy the other people around you. Yep. If you are a shy guy and you are just working like a robot and you came eight hours and you leave and no one notice you and uh, you didn't notice anyone, this life, yani, what is the difference between robotic life and the real human life? That's we right, cannot we do it. Interactive life. Yes. That's it, right. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. It must be, Annie. Yeah. The human nature is like that. I, I feel sorry for many of my friends who are working in companies. They have a life like they, they don't care. They just live their own life. They don't care who is coming nearby them, who is going. This is, I not say that they, they serve the, their own life for others. No, no need to serve their own life for others. But at least you can live a, a normal human life. Normal human life, you have a relations, you have a friends, you have a people around you, they have a, discount, a, disc, a different discussion. Maybe sometimes you are not in a good mood. This is my responsibility to at least ask you why you are not uh, in a good mood yes. today. 
why you are happy or why you are angry or why you are sad. Maybe something, and yani if you came to me and you asked me, maybe I can support it to you. Even I am not supported to you, it, it will relieve you. Yani. At least you, you have something in your heart and you explain to someone. That's why I said to my friends and more companies to be a natural. And yani not try to be a robotic. I find many of them. Sure. So let's see for the best, Yani, in the future, inshallah. I have something for you, which oh. I, which is which is called the Sindhi topi. Don't worry about that. Which is called the Sindhi topi, yeah. the cap we wear in uh, Sindh, our area in Pakistan. This has a has a pattern, a special pattern here, which uh, which related to which related to one saint, uh, the old uh, poet. It was a four five hundred before an uh, old poet. He write a poetry in our area. So he has actually graved the design of his uh, his his building on his uh, grave the tomb. Actually, this is the design related to that uh, four five hundred year old. So I was having another item that this is called Ajrak, but I will give it to you another time because in Riyadh I did not find. It's not available here. I will ask my friends to bring from them and I will give because it's it has a pattern five thousand year old design. And still we are using this one because the Mohanjo Daro, which is very old uh, city, we found 100 years before. It's, it's older than the Giza in uh, Egypt and older than the Chinese uh, wall in China. Wow. It's, it's, it's very old culture and, and the, in the language still no one understand what language is that. There was, this was a hub of the, the communication, hub of the business at that time in our area nearby my village almost 30 40 kilometer not far yes That's so okay. i will i will have an, something for you let me let me help you to wear oh, this please <laughs> yes. this this one uh, will make oh, you it's beautiful yes uh, it's, it must be center here this one yeah, must be yeah, on oh, the lovely okay let me to let me to make it easy for you okay this is fine you oh, look lovely. you look cool you look good really? yes <laughs> you oh. look so much in me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming yeah, on here today. Yeah, you are welcome. Thank, Thank you, very you for, much for, for inviting me. I, I much you. appreciate I will bring you another. This is the half part of the complete gift because I not find the second uh, part. That's very so I will kind share of you. with you, inshallah, very soon. And we'll take a picture and we'll share it. Yes. Okay. Yes, up to you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've uh, been able to, to learn not only about, about Abdullah's is, but a little bit about our uh, Pakistani culture and the great country that Pakistan uh, was, is, and hopefully can be in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.